Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Cane Run Road out here in Park Duval, PD Sandwich Shop. I've been seeing a lot of people hyping this place up on Facebook. Uh, one friend in particular, Kevin Wigington, used to play football at Mail High School, one of our rivals back in the day. <laughs> anyway, Tied Kevin in, Kevin has really been talking great things about this place, and that's, that's why I'm here today. Actually, I'm kind of gussied up today. I went to Rodney's uh, dad's funeral visitation. So while we were out down this way, figured we'd go ahead and hit up one of these places that's been on my list. You know anything about it? Oh, by the way, my publicist, <laughs> Sean Roddy. Cowboy Barry looking sharp today. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about these cowboy boots. He's mad at me because it made me taller than him. 6'2". <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway. Looks good though. I, I saw in there, looked at the menu. They got some big old sub sandwiches. I saw in particular a Philly cheese steak. But before we go in, I'm going to do a little shout out. I had a guy, Bill Lynham from Lancaster, Kentucky, mailed me a $100 check this week. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate the support. All right. Enough of the lip service, gum flapping, chin music. Let's go on in here and get something to eat. Boom. All right, they got a breakfast menu. We didn't get here in time for breakfast. I'm gonna show you what they got. Tell you something stuck out. First thing was that fried bologna. So you got your breakfast menu here. Fountain Colts. Nice, cute little shop here. Got a few tables. And then you come over here and you got the lunch menu. PD Signature, ham, roast beef, bacon, double cheese, turkey. I'm gonna get the meatball. And you already know I'm getting that Philly cheese steak. I ain't even fronting. I'm gonna try their chili out too. They got different soups and chili with turkey and beef. I always like to try out everybody's chili. See who's got the best chilies in town. Salads. For all you non-fat people, oh, and you already know, they're coming prepared with the grippos. This young lady here was just helping me guide my way through the menu, and I could tell right off with her northern accent, she ain't from around here. Absolutely. And tell us, uh, tell us, uh, little country people down there, where you're from. So I'm from Washington D.C., what, that's where Howard University is. Okay. And. What do you know about this uh, shop, sandwich shop? So honestly, I discovered it incidentally. I was I worked through here and I've seen it a few times. And I was like, oh, it's orange, let me go see. So I came last week because I was starving. and got just a ham and cheese. And literally ate it so fast that I was like, oh my God, I want another one, but I had to go back to work. And then I saw the meatball and I literally made meatballs last night because I've been wanting one from here. And so then I came today and I tried the club. So you got the meatball too? No, I made meatballs because oh. I wanted one, but I oh. want to try the meatballs the next time. Um, Cause meatballs are just super heavy. So I decided to make them at home for a stay. Okay. But I've had the ham and cheese and now the club. All right, so, yeah. so you're a believer. Oh, absolutely. That sandwich last week was really, really good. And the bread and when it's toasted, oh, it's so good. All right, she's putting that thing together. Yes, nice cheesy bun too. Oh yeah. I ain't scared of no onion. And she's gonna put the jalapenos on there. Look at that bun. goes putting the extra marinara on it she ain't playing well, Sean he couldn't even wait for me over there. That was good a big real good, good. all good. right they got the tea lemonade thank you and here's something you don't see all the time mr. Pib 
but I want to be drinking some diet, washing my subs down with. I also got some other specialty drinks. All right, let's see what I'm going to start with here. By the way, foot long subs, true foot long. Oh, we're going to, we're going to start with the Philly cheese steak. Look at there. Got the cheesy bread. And I got the jalapeno onion mayonnaise. But you already know. Brand new bottle of Grace, which my main man Bill North sent me. He sent me, I think, three of these. To make sure I never run out of Grace. Get that out of the way there. All right. Big, mm. big triple on the first mm. bite. Wants to download that. Kevin Wigington, you are absolutely correct. These sandwiches are fire. All right. Now we're going to try this chili. Get in there close, Sean, if you would. Got the beef and turkey in it. I see chili beans. And I know everybody's going to be in the comment section. Oh, why are you putting spaghetti in the chili? That's a Louisville thing. Y'all don't know nothing about this. All right. I want to taste it before I put the grace in it, though. Got some tomato in there. It's got a nice chili powder taste in there. I can... I can tell they ain't scared to put the chili powder in it. Mm. That's really good. The white shirt might be looking for dry cleaning sponsors. Oh, you already know meal. that's going to end up messed up. <laughs> now let me try it with the grace. Mm. Chili's, chili's really good. So far I'm batting a thousand. Mm. So good. And by the way, I got this cheesy bread. They asked me what kind of bread I wanted. I said the unhealthiest. So that's how I ended up with the cheese bread. Very tasty. This is how Sean taught me how to do it. Exactly. There Make it go. look good. There it is. Mm. All right. We'll work on this. Let me show you what Sean's got. Of course, his is already half gone. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. It's a little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned, and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish Deli. All right. I'm glad I caught him in time. He's just about done with this foot long. What do you got there? Turkey club. Real good. Real and good. it looks like you got the cheesy bread too. Oh, yeah. I got the cheese bread. And fruit punch. Oh yeah, I love having the fountain drink. All right. Y'all don't know nothing about these Grippos. Nothing goes better with a sandwich than some good old barbecue Grippos. Mm.
Come on in here close. I want them to get the full effect, Sean. Bring it in. <laughs> there it is, quadruple. Shirt's still clean. That usually happens on the last bite. <laughs> where I drip the gravy down my shirt. All right. I'm going to start on this meatball in just a second. All right, Sean. Just want to show you what's left of that. Come on in here. Show them what's left of that Philly cheese steak. But you know, I ain't wasting nothing. <laughs> By the way, they got these PD club cards. Every sub you get, you mark it down on the card. They mark it for you. And when you fill the card up, I think it's when you hit number nine, you get a free win. So when you come, make sure you get one of these. All right. Moving along. I have not had a meatball sub sandwich in I don't know how long. Oh, yeah. That looks good with that cheesy bread. Wow. Here's where the gravy stains are coming on this one. <laughs> Look at there. rolling off of it. Yep, this is where the white shirt gets ruined on this, this clip. <laughs> All right. I got the meatball with provolone. It's got onion and jalapeno. Look, they ain't stingy on the meatballs. Those are some big old meatballs. Onion and jalapeno. Mm -hmm. She's impressed. <laughs> That's a winner. <laughs> Wash that down with a little chili. Mm. And I think that's the Italian cheesy bread, by the way. Yes. Mm. Get no meatballs. Wait, we timed it perfect. Look, place is full. What time you got, Sean? I don't have my watch on. I guess it's about noon in here. You know what time it is? Twelve twenty. Well, I recommend when you come here. You time it to where you're coming real early, like Sean and I did, or come off, off hours, like middle of the afternoon. Right. So the meatballs are really good, zesty. I think they're homemade. I'll check. Definitely didn't buy them frozen at Sam's. I can guarantee you that. All right, I could go ahead and finish this, but I'd just be showing off. Besides, Mackenzie <laughs> likes chili, and I don't think they've ever had a meatball, Mary Mackenzie meatball sub, so I'm going to take them a little bit of that for a little afternoon after school snack when they get home. So I want to finish wrapping this up, and we're going to go outside, and I'll give you my final thoughts. And I can tell you right now, they're going to be good thoughts. All right. You saw it. I don't even need to really say. There's really no words to tell you how good it was. Just trust me. Take my word for it. Get out of here. Cane Run Road. Come out here and visit this place. By the way, most of those people you saw in there work with Humana, and they're out here volunteering today with Dare to Care. So thumbs up on Humana for that. What would you think of your food? Great. Really good. Okay. Well, I love that chili, too.
It's really worth the ride. Come out here and get that chili. Don't be scared of Dixie. Right. <laughs> well, can't run. Same thing. Is it? Kind of. <laughs> oh, no chili stains. Look here. Got out of here. First time in my life that I didn't drip gravy or chili down my shirt. Don't forget those boots. Look at those bad boys. <laughs> here comes Wrangler. He's <laughs> one tough customer. Looks like Outlaw Ron Bass back in the day. He was one of my favorite wrestlers. He was good. He, he was a big dude, but he had yeah. a little bitty Speedo on with them cowboy boots. Yeah, Speedos and black cowboy boots. Right. All right, we'll get on out here. Corner of Linwood and Cane Run Road. And y'all don't know oh, nothing, nothing about, about this PD, PD sandwich, sandwich shop. <laughs> now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.